Good morning, Washington Radio, D.C., Baltimore, Annapolis, Baltimore, Charles County, Frederick. Uh. How y'all doing, everybody? It's Dave TV for the 19th of February 2013. What do we got today? We got the radio ratings for January. For January. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, jump right to the important numbers here, the 2554 money demos, okay? The six-plus numbers, are, of course, are here on DCR-TV. Uh, just had lunch. Nice big you – know, I got a, a, tuna salad, say, a tuna salad sub, tuna salad sub over there at Harris Teeter. Mm, it was good, too. But anyhow, uh, yeah, the, um, the uh, 2554 money demo ratings – for Washington for the month of January. And I don't see any big surprises, okay? Nothing shocking. It's all pretty much the same. You know, Washington Radio is kind of in a big rut, and I'm out of focus again. Is that better? Man. Let's see. Here we go. Let's go. Ah, now you can see me, right? Hey. <laughs> Uh, so anyhow, yes, the uh, Washington radio rating is kind of in a funk. No big changes, okay? You know, we haven't had a lot of big news in January, or you know, it's it's been you know no big snowstorms. Mm. But still, you know, WTOP does really well. W in the in the money demo numbers, WTOP again at the top of the heap. First place. Uh, full day, first place in morning drive, first place in afternoon drive, second place in evenings, third place on weekends. So they've done very well. Uh, and they're, you know, and then WAMU, the public radio news talker, is in third place with second place in mornings and third place in afternoons and fourth place on weekends. So both stations have done really well. Now, if you look at the six plus overall beauty contest numbers, it's flipped around with WAMU at the top and WTOP right below them. So you got to say, basically, for all intents and purposes, TOP and WAMU are tied for first place if you look at everything. If you just say, you know, average them all together, the two stations pretty much have just about the same size audience, okay? And they do about the same in the ratings, you know? And they, one's at the top one week and one's at the top the next, and but that's about it, okay? The other news, if you call it that, is Hot 99.5 in a strong second place in the 2554 numbers with Wailu third and Kane at fifth place. So, you know, that's no change. That's the same. Wash is doing well at fourth place with... Lou and Lori, Lori's leaving, but I, <laughs> Lou and the soon-to-be Lou-less Lori, Lori, uh, Wash at fourth place, you know, no big changes there, to a kiss, KYS, uh, Urban Contemporary at fifth place, tied with HUR, you know, those are the, always the top ten players, and they're always, there. there's no changes there, you know, TOP, Hot 99.5, WAMU, Wash, KYS, HUR, uh, you know, they're at the top of the ratings almost every week, and they're still there. So no big changes, nothing earth-shatteringly different. Um, we are seeing an increase for Praise 104.1. That station has continually, solidly marching up in the ratings, up to seventh place in the January numbers 2554, and that's a new high for them. Okay, and that's a pretty good, that's really very good, um, you know, the gospel based station there. You know, not the greatest signal on 1041, but they do cover the areas where they get, you know, PG County, DC, um, you know, they've got to be, you know, with those market numbers, they probably got to be considerably higher rated in those particular jurisdictions, me would think. Um, MMJ, uh, Magic 102.3, uh, eighth place. Uh, DC 101 doing quite strongly now. They're they're back up in the top ten at ninth place. GTS Christian Contemporary there from uh, Columbia Union College at tenth place. Uh, Mix 107.3 at eleventh place. They're kind of sliding down a little bit. They were fifth place. Um, let's see, they were fifth place a year a year ago. I'm looking. Okay, those are the year ago numbers. 
Interesting, yeah. So they're they're down a little bit. El Zal is surprisingly doing well. You know, when they moved to that 107.9 signal last year, their ratings took a hit because they weren't covering into Northern Virginia as well because that's way over in Annapolis practically. But now they're kind of recovering. They're, they did eighth place for the holiday period and their 12th place time. You know, but still that's kind of evening out. So they're doing quite well, almost to top 10. And it's funny, El Zal... On that 107.9 signal, which is kind of way out there over by the bay, is that top-rated CBS station in the Washington market. Is that not amazing? <laughs> Probably their, their fm -er with the worst signal in the Washington market is the top station in the Washington market. It just makes you wonder, what if CBS put El Zal on a really good inside the Beltway signal, like 94.7 or 95.5, um, man, it would be a top four or five station. It really would be. You know, uh, something to think about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they're doing quite well there at 12th place on that 107.9 signal. Uh, big, clear channel, uh, 13th place. They've been kind of all up and down all over the place. Uh, CBS is fresh, is the second highest station for CBS in the market. Be being better than PGC, believe it or not, at 14th place with Tommy McFly there in the morning show in 15th place. They're tied. Okay, they're tied with PGC. <clears throat> so, you know, C CBS, El Zal is tops. And then you have PGC and Fresh there, kind of at 14th place. So, um, interesting. Um, uh, country music in the Washington market is still showing kind of a sag. MZQ is down to 16th place. Um, what does that mean? I don't know. You know. It just seems like all the country stations in the Washington market are kind of sagging lately. I don't listen to country, so... I don't know. Is it a particularly bad time for country music? I really don't know. They're tied with JFK, by the way, at 16th place in that money demo with the Junks in 10th place and um, A and D. That's what I'm going to call them, Arrington and Dukes. The, the ADD show at 12th place. <coughs> Again, I would expect better numbers than that if you look at the male demos for the Junks and A and D. Uh, WTEM down there at 813th, or 18th place, rather, just below JFK, uh, with uh, Mike and Mike in the mornings at 20th, and Zabin and Poland at 19th place in the afternoons. Uh, WDCN, the uh, Spanish TV station that thinks it's a radio station at 87.7 there at 20th place. Then we got FRE out of Frederick at 21st place. They've done a little better in the past. Wink FM is showing surprising, you know, good solid numbers at 22nd for a Winchester station in the Washington market. Wita FM at 23rd. And here we go, WNEW. Okay, a year on. A year on, WNEW, 24th place, and they're pretty much stuck at 24th place in mornings and 22nd place in afternoons. Now, they were ranking probably a year ago, probably, what were they doing? They were doing 29th place. So they're up from 29th to 24th place in a year. Again, I think it's a good sounding station. I listen to WNEW a lot. It's a great, it's a good sounding station, but they need a better signal. They need a better signal. Of course, CBS can say that about most of their stations. They need a better signal. <laughs> Of course, what I, what I proposed in a previous edition of Dave TV was they could make a deal with Citadel and they could take over 630 and put WNEW on 630 AM and 99.1 FM. That would do wonders for their ratings. They would, if they did that, if they put 630 and 991, they would be a top 20 station. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. Buy this car. <laughs> I'll show you a used car salesman. Dave, you missed your calling. <coughs> uh, so, and the other, you know, one of the other numbers, they have really bad numbers for AVA, FM. Man, Salem, I guess they make money running whatever they run on that station. There's, you know, talk, religious stuff. But, man, nobody's listening. It's a shame. 105.1 is a killer signal in the Washington market. And what is it ranked in the... um? What's, what do we place it at uh, this time? Uh, way down here, 36th place. It's a shame that 1051, such a great signal, is 36th place in the Washington market. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, 33rd place for WKDV, that little Spanish station there in Manassas that just started their 95.9 relay. Pacifica's PMW at 27th place which is a little bit higher for them than usual, a little bit, you know, jolt. Maybe adding a little more talk to the mix is helping them there. I don't know. 
But that's uh, that's uh, my take on the ratings. So again, no big super duper mooper pooper changes. You know, I don't see any huge trends going on. Same old, same old. The stations that have been doing well are still doing well. Uh, you know, you got to say, you know. It's great news for WTOP and Whamu. CBS still needs to get something cooking there. You know, as I say, El Zal, you know, if they could put that station on a, a better signal, cover more Northern Virginia, they could have a top five, a consistent top five performer there. Um, you know, maybe put, you know, maybe put it on 94.7. El Zal on 94.7, you get a top five station out of that. Um, you know, maybe it's worth it, you know. I don't know. Tweak it a little bit, put a little more Anglo on there, and you could really have a killer signal station, whatever. I'm telling you. But what do, what do I know? I know nothing. <laughs> All right. That's oh, the other Joan Jett. No, Joan Jones. What? No. What's her name? Joan Jett joins the. Joan Jett will now sing for WTOP. <laughs> Joan Jones joins WTOP. Uh, she comes from the Dow Jones Wall Street Journal Radio Network. You've obviously heard her on WTOP, uh, but she will now be working at WTOP as a full-time fill-in anchor. So congratulations to Joan Jones. Also, check out my interview of Anita Marks there on DCR TV's front page. Uh, we link to my article at Pressbox, uh, one of the great sports newspapers in Baltimore, the only sports newspaper in Baltimore. A great, interesting article, interesting interview I did with Anita a couple of weeks ago. And she talks about how she pretty much liked her time in Baltimore, even though it was rather rocky and stormy. So there. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV for the 19th of February, 2013. Book them, Dano.